Namo Adidapa. Good morning. Thanks for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The fifth mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful consumption, I vow to cultivate good health, both physical and mental, for myself, my family, and my society, by practicing mindful eating, drinking, and consuming. I will ingest only items that preserve peace, well-being, and joy in my body, in my consciousness, and in the collective body and consciousness of my family and society. I'm determined not to use alcohol or any other items that contain toxins, such as certain TV programs, magazines, books, films, and conversations. I'm aware that to damage my body or my consciousness with these poisons is to betray my ancestors, my parents, my society, and future generations. I will work to transform violence, fear, anger, and confusion in myself and in society by practicing a diet for myself for society. I understand that a proper diet is crucial for self-transformation and the transformation of society. This morning we're finishing a section on Original Blessing by Ajahn Amaro from his book, Catastrophe Apostrophe. With regard to dependent origination, the third exit point from the cycle of addiction, the wheel of birth and death, is to not let the cycle start in the first place. When the heart is established in this quality of vija, awakened awareness, then avija, doesn't arise. When we chant the words describing Paticca Samapada, dependent origination, the whole of the second half refers to the non-arising or cessation of the cycle. When avijja ceases, when there is no ignorance, sankara does not arise. The Paticca Samapada is a description of the process of experience when it is influenced by avijja, ignorance. The first four links of the dependent origination process are avijja, sankara, vijnana, nama rupa. These are what I describe as the establishing of the subject-object relationship. When the mind doesn't see clearly, when there is avijja, that gives rise to sankara. Sankara is a basic forming or dividing process of the mind. When the mind is not seeing clearly, it creates the realm of things and the agent who is knowing these things. The mind drifts into the delusion of experiencer and experienced, subject and object as separate and distinct realities. In the traditional painting of the six realms and dependent origination, Sankara is depicted as a potter forming, shaping a clay pot on a wheel. The next two steps, Vijnana and Namarupa, as mentioned earlier, are described very clearly in a wonderful little book called The Magic of the Mind by Bhikkhu Nanananda. He talks about Vijnana and Nama Rupa working together like a vortex, a whirlpool getting stronger and stronger. They work together to strengthen this division of consciousness, Vijnana, into the knower and the mental physical factors, Nama Rupa, into the known. That initial process of subject-object is like a little disturbance in the stream that then escalates into a whirlpool. It gets stronger and stronger until there is a sense of me with this body and senses and the world out there. It happens extremely fast. The next link is Salayatana, the six sense spheres. This is the feeling, I see, I hear, etc. At this point, the world of sense perception seems absolutely real. In the Pali Canon, there are many different ways that dependent origination is described. 
the standard 12 links is just one representation. In the longest discourse about dependent origination, the Mahanidana Sita, the great discourse on causation, the Buddha starts with the experience of dukkha and then follows it backwards through the various links. He describes each link as conditioning, pachaya, the next, but in that teaching he only describes the process as going far back as nama rupa and vijnana, then how those two factors are mutually conditioning of each other. One more thing to remember, again as mentioned earlier, pachaya doesn't always mean A directly causes B. It is more that one link affects another in some way, shape, or form. Sometimes the links arise together, sometimes one is a necessary condition for the other. There are many different ways that the relationship between these links can be understood. It is important to point out that dependent origination doesn't mean that ignorance is the creator of Sankara. There is an effect from one link to the next, and that effect can vary. May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me today.